SmackDown on Fox. Did you guys watch the SmackDown show? I thought the SmackDown show was the best SmackDown, and I, I couldn't even tell you the last time I saw SmackDown this good. It wasn't perfect, but when you when you when you think about what we normally see, like it was awesome. This show, two point zero four two million viewers, up two point three percent. Keep in mind, last week it was the uh, SmackDown after WrestleMania. This show did better than that. Uh, two point zero four six million first hour, two point zero thirty seven in the second. So basically, I mean, the thing about SmackDown that's so weird. And I guess uh, NXT and AEW have been like this for the last couple of weeks now, but it's like the one show that's consistent from start to finish. Like, when when AEW and NXT used to go head-to-head, they would both start big and they would just slowly fall throughout the show. Raw always falls throughout the show, but SmackDown is like steady as an arrow the entire way through, so uh, that's that. And uh, did you see this SmackDown show? I did, actually. I did. Now, granted, I saw it after I watched the UFC show, so I was in a really good mood. So if somebody wants to point out that maybe I'm too happy about the SmackDown, you know, that's fair because of the lead-in I had to it. But like you, I thought it was a really consistent show. I thought it was a really good show. I mean, when you start with Daniel Bryan and Cesaro against Seth Rollins and Jey Uso and have it go for the amount of time that it did, you know, (laughs) hard hard to have a... Uh, a bad start with that. So I thought the whole show was was good for the most part. Uh, everything clicked on it. We have our next World Tag Team Champions. We have Reginald coming back for those Reginald fans out there. Uh, I, again, I just thought it was really consistent. And two hours helps immensely. That's the one thing. They've never been able to have a handle on three hours. They've had some good three-hour shows in the amount of time that they've been doing that. But for the most part, it's always been very laborious, both as a viewer and seemingly for them to put together. And that's what helps SmackDown immensely. Not that they don't have bad shows at two hours, too. But it makes it a lot easier to, to deal with, to produce, to watch everything, period. Man, this Twitch guy right here, Twitch Homie Goody. You have to change your name. Twitch Jabroni Goody, buddy. Oh, He's man. very mad. How Actually, I, mean, I can't even use the term that he used. Upset that we said that the show was good. Bro, Why? listen. This was a good show, okay? Yeah. He's upset there were two distraction finishes in a row. Let me tell you well. something. Let me tell you something. If you are never going to allow anybody to say that a WWE show is good... Because of things that you are going to have on every WWE show, you're never going to have a WWE show where they don't rapidly zoom in and out and cut 50 times and have badly scripted promo. You're never going to have that. So if if you're going to, if you'd like to just say there will never be a good Raw and SmackDown show ever, I guess you can say that if you want to. But if we're going to grade a Raw and SmackDown on the curve of Raw and SmackDown, this was the best SmackDown show in forever. We had a Cesaro interview, which led to Daniel Bryan and Cesaro versus Seth Rollins and Jey Uso. No, it wasn't perfect. They they had Seth Rollins walk out on his partner, so the baby faces won two on one. But at the end of the day, the whole thing was about trying to get Cesaro over. The whole thing, it was a good match. They went through two commercial breaks. It was like a 20-something minute match. It was a great wrestling. And then afterwards, they had Daniel Bryan and Cesaro out there. Uh, spinning Jey Uso multiple times and trying to go to Roman Reigns to come out. And, of course, at the end of the show, Roman Reigns came out and they issued a challenge for a very big match next week, which is Roman Reigns versus Daniel Bryan. If Daniel Bryan does not win the title, he's banished from SmackDown forever. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.